Hello, my name is Marta Vázquez Ortiz. I am a consultant in pediatric allergy and an honorary senior lecturer at Imperial College London. I'm going to be presenting the EACI guideline on the effective transition of adolescents and young adults with allergy and asthma. This is the result of the work we've been doing over the last few years in the Task Force of Adolescents and Young Adults of the European Academy of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. The aim of the guideline is to provide evidence-based recommendations to assist healthcare professionals to successfully transition young adolescents into an independent, competent, expert adult patient. The audience of the guideline is the wide range of healthcare professionals dealing with this age group, including clinical allergists, physicians from other related disciplines, paediatricians, as well as primary care workers, and also allied healthcare professionals who play a crucial role in looking after those patients, such as nurses, dietitians, psychologists, and social workers. The guideline development approach included a number of tasks. First, a survey amongst healthcare professionals who were members of the ACI and the National Allergy Societies across Europe. We looked into perceptions and current practice around adolescent care in Europe, which highlighted a number of significant limitations in the care these patients receive. We conducted two systematic reviews, one on the challenges associated with adolescents and young adults with allergies and asthma, and another one on potential interventions to improve self-management. We followed the agreed to approach to the guideline development. The draft guideline was reviewed by the ACI members and the guideline recommendations were reviewed through a survey by adolescents, young adults and parents from different European countries. The guideline includes practice recommendations, both generic from uh, guidelines from other non-allergic diseases, as well as disease-specific recommendations for allergies and asthma. And the areas covered are improving adherence, optimizing self-management, addressing psychological issues, and obtaining support. We covered implementation, and we are now working on a team toolkit position paper with practical advice on how to implement those recommendations in clinical practice. We covered recommendations for policy and training, and we're now working on a masterclass that will happen in 2021. And finally, we have covered the limitations and gaps in evidence. I will talk now about the guideline recommendations for the transition process. Adolescent patients need to learn all the knowledge and skills required to competently and confidently self-manage their allergy and asthma. They have to negotiate the challenging transition from being children whose medical care is supervised by their parents to become independent, expert adult patients. Healthcare professionals need to support them and their families and peers along this process through education and empowerment. This is not only required when adolescents and young adults move from a pediatric to an adult service, but also when they stay in a service that sees all ages, because adolescents and young adults' needs for education and support remain the same. Recommendations for transition include using a structured multidisciplinary approach, involving family and peers who play a crucial influential role in this age, continuously monitoring and assessing progress because the whole process has to be tailored and developmentally appropriate. For this, transition readiness questionnaires can be used to track progress. We will need to promote knowledge about the disease, treatments, medicines, triggers, risks, as well as helpful strategies. And we will have to promote skills for self-management, such as adherence, self-advocacy, decision-making, emergency management, as well as the use of the different devices such as inhalers and auto-injectors. We will need to identify and address misunderstandings as well as psychosocial, economical issues that might impact on engagement and the long-term on health outcomes. We will have to agree individualised care plans and simplified medication regimes. 
and discuss implications for education and work. And where necessary, we will need to transfer across services. And when this is required, it is helpful to conduct a comprehensive review of allergic conditions to optimise management plans and generate an up-to-date transition report. This transition process can be seen as a challenge, but also as an opportunity for healthcare professionals. This is because neurodevelopmentally, adolescents are naturally eager to become more autonomous and are able to learn new skills quickly and easily. If optimal care is, is delivered for adolescents and young adults, they should become expert adult patients with the knowledge and skills to manage their allergy and asthma throughout their lives. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for your interest and thank you very much to my colleagues in the task force for all the work we've done over the last few years. And please, if you have any comments or questions, you can send me an email.